My name's Caitlin. I'm from the U.S., Tennessee. Although I probably shouldn't mention that. Won't win me any favors right now. <laughs> I wrote this song with a friend of mine, Maya DeVitri. She's of the Stray Bird. She's been here a couple times. And we were um, sitting around her kitchen table. Um, there was a, a Rolling Stone article open to an interview with Sharon Jones. And um, she was being interviewed while she was still very sick and she was touring like crazy and she was just so inspiring. She was talking about um, letting go of past grudges and calling up old boyfriends and laughing with them on the phone. And um, I got to play a show right behind her. She had left the stage on fire. And so talking with Maya, we wrote this song. Thought I'd kick it off for the women's circle. What are the odds of getting even? What is the cost of dreaming? I carry the cross of believing, asking God for a reason. I counted the days I waited, shuffling cards, cleaning tables. If you've got a heart, you got to play it. You only feel it when it's racing. Watching the mud fly, rolling the dice back on the sideline. Come the morning, I'll be leaving. It's too late in the evening to play the odds of getting even. Hej Tønder. Hej igen. Det er en stor ære for mig at få lov til at være med i den her cirkel. Jeg har set det de to første år, der har været her, og det er en helt speciel stemning, der opstår. Og mit job er selvfølgelig at prøve ikke at ødelægge det i år. Men øh, nej, det er super dejligt at være her. Det er virkelig, virkelig godt. Og øh, det, jeg har tænkt mig at starte med, det er den første kærlighedssang, jeg har skrevet, som ikke er trist. Øhm, og det, det er egentlig lidt underligt, fordi det går ikke for godt derhjemme. Øhm, vi er i gang med at samle sådan et IKEA-skab, som vi har købt. Og, øhm, og det er, altså det, det, det ved I jo godt, det er ikke nemt at samle det, men det er sat mig heller ikke nemt at købe det, synes jeg. Og det her, det er sådan et system, der hedder PAX. I ved godt, hvordan 
IKEA, det er... Ja, yeah, siger I så. Fedt. Ja. Yeah. I ved godt, hvordan IKEA de har det med at, at navngive deres produkter øh, svensk eller nu latin. Pax betyder fred, og jeg kan ikke lige komme i tanke om noget, der i nyere tid har skabt mere ufred hjemme hos os. Øhm, fordi det er jo ikke bare, hvad for nogle fronter der skal være, det er jo også, altså, hvor mange skohylder må der være, og hvor lang skal bøjlestangen være for det første. Og jeg kan ikke forstå, hvorfor vi skal diskutere det, når jeg nu har ret. Exactly. Så øh, ja, jamen, altså, jeg er kommet hjem fra på en lidt dårlig vibe, øh, og da jeg kørte hernede i torsdags, øh, der sad jeg lige i bilen og tænkte over, at øh, måske var jeg kørt lidt for hårdt på. Altså, jeg har lige været lidt for hård. Jeg kan også blive meget bestemt og sådan noget. Øh, og jeg tænkte, at øh, han sikkert var i gang derhjemme med at samle det skideskab og, øh, og nok også var kommet på bedre tanker. Så øh, når jeg kommer hjem, så tænker jeg, at vi skal starte forfra. Prøv at møde hinanden fuldstændig på ny. Og det er det, der den her sang handler om. handler om at sætte noget langsom musik på. Og så prøv at møde hinanden igen som aller, aller første gang. En helt ny sang, der hedder Langsom Musik. Og da, da jeg havde skrevet den, så det var i den der periode, hvor Bradley Cooper og Lady Gaga, de havde den der sang i radioen. Og så tænkte jeg, at det kunne godt være en duet, det her. Jeg kan bare ikke lige få fat på Bradley Cooper. Jeg synes, det er svært. Det kan være, at de her ladies de kan hjælpe mig. Do you have the number for Bradley? You, you do? Glimrende. Yes! Hvis jeg siger det, som det er Vil du lade mig drukne her I dine hænder Tag hvad jeg vil Og tag hvad jeg har Lad mig lære alt Forfra Vi kunne drive til langsom musik For dagen sætter ind Og vi husker alt igen Hvis jeg siger det som det er Vil du lade mørket være Så tæt som det er Vi kunne gøre alt forfra Vi kunne drive væk til langsom musik For dagen sætter ind, og vi husker alt igen Dagen sætter ind, og vi husker alt igen. Uh, 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 uh. Hvad kan du må mærke? Skal vi altid banke? En lukket dør, som vi har gjort det tusind gange før. For dagen sætter ind, når vi husker alt igen. Vi kunne drive væk til langsom musik. For dagen sætter ind, og vi husker alt igen. Tak. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Heidi Talbot.
Hello, my name is Heidi and I'm from Ireland um, and uh, this is my first time back to the festival. Um, I was here maybe six or seven years ago, so I'm delighted to be back. Um, and it's so lovely to be on stage with all these lovely women. We've never, I've never met before, none of us have met before. Um, so um, I'm gonna sing you a song. I was, um, about 15 years ago, um, I flew from Australia to LA with a band called Cherish the Ladies. And uh, we got off the plane in LA and then took a red eye to um, Kansas and uh, to do a folk festival in Kansas. And uh, we got to the festival, we went to the backstage area and we were all knackered, really tired and grumpy and not really talking to each other anymore. And um, we we're sitting backstage and uh, I heard this, the most beautiful voice um, from the backstage. And this man, I looked out, there's this man singing and uh, he looked like a young Bob Dylan to my 22 year old eyes. And um, I kind of fell in love with him. And uh, so he got off stage and I was like, oh, you know, I really, I really like your songs. Um, <laughs> can, uh, can you teach me some songs? Um, so we sat down and we, and we, we played some songs together. And um, anyway, he flew back. He was from Australia, where I'd just come from. He flew back to Australia and I flew back to Ireland and we've never seen each other since. But... But he's here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But... <laughs> but I did, I did get a song out of it. So um, this is a song called If You Stay. Thanks, Irish. <laughs> it's actually quite a sad song. It's, it's <laughs> In the Silver moonbeam slips through winter snowflakes like a dream. A small heart fire warms the world tonight, and I get to thinking.
Thank you very much. And now, please welcome Irish Maiden. That was beautiful. Moin, moin. That's it. I remember that from last year. Trying to explain to someone last night that moin, moin, and what's the answer? Moin. Then they thought I was making fun of them, and I said, no, no, moin, moin, moin. <laughs> well, Caitlin already said that uh, there might be a, a little bit of an issue saying that you're from the States. Um, but not here, not today. No, because today, this is my love song for uh, America. Um, he, he will never be named on any stage that I play. <laughs> so I like to say, when Voldemort got into Hogwarts, <laughs> we, were all, uh, we were all quite distraught. But there was a lot of negative things being said about Americans uh, during that time, and I took umbrage with that. I didn't like that, because we have to remember certain things. Two very important things. The first one, the majority of Americans didn't vote for him. They voted for her. And, and number two, and even more importantly, is it's only our American brothers and sisters that can change the madness, so they deserve our support. So this one is called Be Still, Dance. And howling at the moon Cause that 
that's when people like us I wanna dance well, yeah I hide into the night We'll go laughing and howling at the moon Cause that's what people like us That's what people like us Each and every one of us were born to do. Each and every one of us were born to do. So what are you gonna do? Doesn't that? Thank you so much. Thank you. Would you please keep that going for my friend, Jen Grant. Thank you, Irish. Amazing. I never know what I'm going to play. I just kind of wait and suss out the vibe. But then when Irish started playing, I was like, oh, I'll just play whatever. I don't know what to do. <laughs> my name is Jen Grant. I'm from Nova Scotia, Canada. And I've always wanted to come here. And thank you for having me. Amazing, beautiful people here. Everyone is very special. I think I'll play you a new song. This is called Keep a Light On. Um, I wrote this song when I was hoping that I was going to have um, a baby. And it took me a really long time to, to get pregnant. It took 600 uh, years or so. And um, worked out eventually with the help of uh, magic and science and um, I've been touring with my infant for a while now. I released a record at the end of May and I've been touring with him a little bit since he was like nine weeks old and I might have to go feed him in a little bit. Uh, but he's okay. He's, he's partying back there doing something somewhere. Actually we went to Gregory Alan Isikoff last night who I love. I'm a big fan of, of, that, of that guy's music. Were you guys at the show here last night? It was so good. Um, we're on Nova Scotia time, so right now it's the morning, and I um, haven't had any tea or anything, but I have had a sandwich, so I feel good. But uh, we went to the show last night, and, and it was at 10.45, and so that's 5.45 p.m. in Nova Scotia, so our son Gus was just like raring to go, and we sat up there, and he, I thought he would like it, but he's, it was the first big concert he's ever been to. Um, he's been to my concerts backstage asleep and he was on stage once by accident but this was like big and there was lights um, and he was just like he was just dancing and I thought he should be maybe in the band or have his own career <laughs> soon because he was very into it it was very it was amazing I wish I could show you a video behind me as I told the story and I like a pointer situation or something and but you can take it from me he's very cute and special and Anyway, um, so while I was, I made a record with my friend Tucker Martin in Portland, Oregon. And uh, while I was writing the record, I was newly pregnant, but I didn't know yet because I, I didn't, they didn't tell me yet. Um, but uh, I wrote this song, it's called Keep a Light On, and it's just about have, like, keeping a light on in your heart, maybe, for whatever you're hoping for, or love, or the goodness of the planet, and shoes made out of pineapple leaves by nature. Thank you so much for these shoes. Um, here you go. I keep a light on For my baby almost every night I keep a light on Don't want a crazy fight I keep a light on Even if it's just a Shining bright, I keep a light on. Everything is gonna be alright. I dream, I dream. To Oh, 
shining water Don't let the years go by Planting clovers I make my wishes at night I keep a light on Even if it's just the sun in your eyes I keep a light on Everything's gonna be alright I dream, I dream That you are all that I needed I dream, I dream I, That you are all that I needed I dream you are all that I needed We play for the wild witches We play for the wild Someday you gonna find me Answer in your prayers, baby I dreamed you all that I needed I dream, I dream That you were all that I needed I dream, I dream That you were all that I needed And someday you gonna find me answering your prayers, baby. So get yourself out with it, honey. Got more roads to see. Thank you so much. Oh, my new friend Lisa Stevens, the beautiful voice, beautiful songs, cool guitar. Thank you, Jen. Moin. Or moin moin, I guess. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. Um, hi, I'm Leslie Stevens, and um, I um, am from California, and I have come a long way to, long way to be here. <laughs> And I'm so, I've never played this far away from home, so I'm like an ocean and a half away, I feel like. But um, it's so, I feel like I was born to come to this um, festival, and it's just so beautiful the way you appreciate this, my favorite kind of music, you know? So um, anyhow, uh, I, my, I was named after my great-grandmother. Her name was... Um, well, I was named after, so her part, her part of her name was Leslie. But um, she, she was a, a, a little girl, and she was a pioneer on the plains in the U.S., and she um, traveled on a covered wagon, which is like a, you know, it looks like a cowboy story, and it has big wheels, and she lived to 103, so she told me herself these tales about how they would hide the money in her dress because the um, Native Americans w would raid them, but they wouldn't steal from the children. And I just thought that was so beautiful <laughs> and so cool that she had that experience. So then she had a daughter who was my grandmother. And my grandmother was a crazy, drinking, boating, plane-flying pilot drinker. <laughs> Never baked a cookie in her life, you know? And um, so I'm a little bit sweeter than her, <laughs> just in terms of personality. But my grandma and I, we used to go in the garage and smoke cigarettes together. And um, she would say to me, you know, Leslie, that halo, you know what I mean by halo, the thing the angels wear? She said, that halo is going to hurt you. <laughs> and I didn't know what she was talking about, but it turns out she was right. <laughs> so this is a song called Sinner. 
And uh, it's about how none of us are perfect. And God, it was a relief to find it out <laughs> when I made some big mistakes in my life. And uh, my record is called Sinner, and it came out yesterday in the US. And um, <laughs> it, it was produced. Um, anyway, it was, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I'm just going to play. But. Um, but yeah, it was just an honor to wake up and hear about my record. <laughs> Made me cry a bunch, but anyway, whatever. Not important, not important, okay. Thank you. one is done. This is such a treat. When you're here at this festival and you're playing, if, it's such an honor. But then you spend the rest of your time you're not playing, sprinting around to everybody's shows and catching little bits of it. And now I get to see everybody play and sing their songs. This is like, thank you for hooking this up, Maria. Um, 
This is my second time here. I came here three years ago um, in Jeffrey Foucault's band and played a set of my own. And it was just, I, I didn't believe that such a great festival could exist. I'm not just trying to butter you up. Like, things like this don't happen normally. <laughs> I wasn't planning to play this song, but uh, the talk of U.S. and um, that, you know, feeling a bit like a black sheep up here. Um, this is the newest song I've written, and uh, I, I, I was reading a little bit of Woody Guthrie, and I don't remember which tragedy exactly I started writing this after. There's um, a bunch out there, but like Irish was saying, I'm, I love my country. I, I think as musicians and touring musicians, we get to know all the little pockets of our, our homes. You know, we don't just know the town we grew up in, but we know what the West feels like, what the South feels like. We get to really move around and know what the people feel like. We get a, we get a good feel for what you're like. I like how you all clap it together at the same time after. It's pretty great. Um, in the U.S., you know, you kind of, you, sometimes you think it's just what's on TV or it's just angry people yelling. And um, Anyway, this, this song... It's coming out of the love of my country and my hope for it. There's some oohs if you find them. It's raining in Los Angeles. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Moonflowers open to breathe the night's perfume. City climbs a hillside just to see the color bloom. Petals turn a sidewalk stream, jacaranda blue. Where Flying over Oklahoma fields and broken ground Every mile cut up into squares of green and brown Like a quilt unfinished, like a fiddle singing a low and lonesome sound See the land before black gold and heavy plows Where is the heart of my country now? Where is the heart of my country now? Golden Skyway, westbound highway, birds in a church choir. The sun set down in the grass like wildfire. A young horse runs at the fence line just to test his own desire. Plastic bags or prayer flags. The wind caught on the wire Tell me where Is the heart of my country Where Is the heart of my country Where Is the heart of my country Where
My, my, my smoke song. What a beautiful song. And we know that you're going to find the heart of your country again. We hope. Min farmor, hun var sådan en, der gik med hat. Hun gik med hat, og så gik hun i spacerdragt. Og så røg hun til rutter og kørte en mørkegrøn rover. Og dengang jeg var lille... Ja, <laughs> præcis. Og dengang jeg var lille, der syntes mine forældre, de var meget unge dengang. De syntes, det var en skidegod idé, hvis jeg kom hele vejen over til Bornholm og var sammen med farmor i cirka fire uger ud af min sommerferie. Men det gik ikke noget, fordi jeg elskede det. Jeg elskede at komme over på Bornholm og gå i slipstrøm af hendes meget, meget tunge parfume og høre lyden af perlekæderne. Og ikke mindst sidde om morgenen i det lille køkken, fuldstændig indsvøbt i blå røg og spise cornflakes. Og der ville vi sidde og snakke om, hvad vi skulle i løbet af dagen. Og det allerbedste, hun kunne sige, det var, hvis vi skulle ned til Rønne City og shoppe. Fordi nede i Rønne City, der skete der ting, som der ikke sker i den by, hvor jeg kommer fra. Jeg kommer fra Nyborg. Hvis vi kørte Roveren ned på store tog og gik ind i den nærmeste tøjbutik, da vi så trådte ind, så ville alting stoppe op. Alle ville holde op med at lave det, de havde gang i, og kigge op. Og så er der en, der vil sige, jamen, ede i fru Svendsen? Og det var det. Og hvis hun så et eller andet, som hun godt kunne lide, så behøvede hun ikke at købe det, hun kunne bare låne det med hjem. Det brugte vi ikke i Nyborg. Uh, yes, okay, I'm telling a story about my grandma. Yeah, she... Um, oh, it's gonna be very long if I have... Um, yeah, she was... Uh, she, yeah. Yeah, I don't... Mit engelsk er så dårligt, så det er helt utroligt. Øhm, men vi har en aftale om, at jeg må godt tale dansk, hvis vi bare snakker om det bagefter. Så. Men min farmor, hun, hun gik bort for, øhm, for to år siden snart. Og I ved, hvordan det er. I tiden efter, så skal, man, så skal man rydde op. Man skal finde ud af, hvor alle tingene skal være nu, og hvem skal have hvad og sådan noget. Og vi var samlet over på Bornholm, og... Øhm, ind i stuerne, der gik min far og hans brødre og tog sig af jordkeramik og krystalglas og sølvtøj og sådan noget. Og så gik jeg ind i soveværelset øh, sammen med tanterne ved klædeskabet. Og kiggede på hatte og perlekæder og tasker og kjoler og jakker og alt muligt. Og det er jo jer, der har været i den situation. I ved, det er en meget sårbar og følsom situation. Øh, men vi var sådan meget fælles om det. Øh, Stor følelse af fællesskab. Lige indtil der kun var undertøjet tilbage. Så kiggede tanterne på mig, og så sagde de, øh, Signe, du er lige linje. Det er dig. Så jeg gik hen til den hvide kommode, og trak den midterste skuffe ud, og løftede et par lag op, og dernede, der fandt jeg en æske. En æske, som der engang i slutningen af 40'erne har været nylonstrømper i, men det var der ikke. I den her æske, der lå der nogle breve, og der lå nogle billeder. Der lå et billede af en ung soldat. Hans hundetegn var ved siden af. Og i sådan en bånd, der var hæftet til æsken, var der bundet en guldring. Og jeg fik lov til at, øh, at få den her æske med hjem og finde ud af, hvad det nu handlede om. Og det handlede om, at min farmor havde været ringforlovet i tiden lige op til, hun møder farfar. At hun havde været hamrende forelsket. Men også, at den forlovelse var endt bræt og havde knust min farmors hjerte. Og den her sang, jeg har skrevet, den har jeg skrevet ud fra det sidste brev, jeg finder i bunken, som er en klæde fra hende til ham. Det forlyder, du har fundet en, du har fundet en, der passer bedre end. Men sig mig, ved hun ingenting, ved hun, jeg har din ring. Ved hun, jeg har. Hvor skal jeg 
Nu går hen Kan du se mig Hvor jeg kan Finde fred Hvis hun ligger I din seng Hvor kan jeg så Gå hen Se mig Hvor er Dit hjem Tog mig helt under morgenens blik, blev vi to til en. Og kaldte mig for din brud, og sang det imod min hud. Sig mig, hvad gør jeg nu? Det forlyder, du har fundet en, du har fundet en, der passer bedre ind. Men se mig, ved hun ingenting, ved hun, jeg har din ring, ved hun, jeg har. Um, I'm sorry I had to go. I just kept hearing this, um, besides that beautiful song, I also just kept hearing, I thought my baby was crying and I was just like, oh my God, it's, he's really, really upset. I don't know why my husband is not like a good husband or dad. And then I went back there and it wasn't my baby at all. And he did not need me. And, but I had to pee, so it really worked out for me. And, <laughs> and sorry about that. I'm back, I'm back. Um, I'm going to do a version of a traditional song um, this is a song called Bedlam Boys and it's about uh, Bethlehem Hospital down in England, it was a psychiatric hospital about 150 years ago and um, they started charging um, the public to come into the hospital and watch these poor unfortunate people in their states of psychosis and um, there's lots of imagery in it, like um, cutting off people's legs and feeding them to fairies and things like that. So I just thought it would be nice for a Saturday afternoon. So. <laughs> Choose from rubble, still I sing bunny boys, bunny bunny boys, bedlam boys are bunny, but they all go bare and they live by the air and they want no drink, no money. 
stop those murder giants On my back a long knife carries But to cook mince pies from children's thighs With which to feed the fairies Still I sing bonny boys, bonny bonny boys And them boys are bonny But they all go bare and they never the air And they want no drink nor money Miss Office murder giants And my bag along my carries Put to cook mince pies from children's thighs With which to feed the fairies Still I sing bonny boys, bonny boys Boys are on me, but they all go bare and they never the air and they want no drink, no money. And when the day of murdered, the woman on the moon to a powder, his stuff I break, his thug I'll shake. And they'll howl no demon louder, still I sing, bunny boys, bunny man. Boys are one knee, but they all go bare and they never the air and they won't no drink no money. Jolene, 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 I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Don't take him just because you can Jolene Still I sing bunny boys, bunny my boys Then the boys are on me But they all go bare and they never the air And they want no drink, no money Still I sing bunny boys, bunny my boys Then the boys are on me But they all go bare and they never the air And they want no drink, no money Thank you very much. Wow, okay, this is too much fun. I don't know if you're having fun, but we are definitely having fun. Are you having fun? Now, I have to uh, firstly say that my feet are doing exceptionally well right now because I'm wearing Echo boots. So that's nice. Subtle little plug there. Um, and this song has nothing to do with that. <laughs> this is about... Uh, <laughs> This is about my, uh, my auntie. Now, I, by the way, when we're finished, I want to hear that whole story about your grandmother. You remember, okay. See, they're invested. They want me to know as well. That's why they're clapping. Yeah. <laughs> so this, um, this song is about my auntie, because uh, I haven't written one about my grandmother yet. Uh, but my auntie was an absolute legend, and she passed away uh, uh, just last year. No, it feels like yesterday, but uh, two years ago now. And uh, she was just a marvelous woman, uh, and an absolute rebel, and uh, just a wit that could well, slice into steel. And uh, I just loved her so deeply, and it was unexpected when she passed away, and so I was profoundly affected by her passing. And I flew home to Ireland. I live in Canada, uh, in a beautiful place called Prince Edward Island, up Anne. And uh, so I flew home to the, for the funeral. And then I wrote her this song, uh, and it was never supposed to be played uh, live or, or recorded. It was just for me, basically, because music is such marvelous therapy. And then I played it one time, and I haven't stopped playing it since. So this one is for my Auntie Maria.
absolutely breaking. The pickup has just fallen out, and now the string is broken. I don't know where we're gonna find a replacement. Has anyone got a guitar? It's gonna take a while to get one ready. Someone's play the Danish lady's guitar. You're not offended. Heidi's not offended by that. Okay, so I really hope I don't break this guitar. So this is a song about my auntie. <laughs> that was her going, don't play that. <laughs>
So beautiful, thank you. <laughs> Jen Grant, everybody. Oh, that was beautiful. I mean, also has snazzy shoes. Yeah, we both got the shoes. I'm going to trip you up here for a second. Okay. Thank Whoop. you. God, I nearly did. Hi again, everybody. Hello. I don't know the, the, everything, the word everyone is saying yet. Moin. I love it. I think it means I love you. I love you guys. I love you. I'm going to play a song called Favorite Daughter. I wrote it when I thought I was having a daughter. And uh, I did not have one of those. And um, I live in, the place in Nova Scotia I live, it's called Lake Echo. We moved out there seven years ago and I always loved all the seasons. I loved the winter and all the rest of the seasons. We all know what they are. I don't have to go over that right now. Um, but it's uh, a little bit secluded and a little far away and it's on a beautiful lake. We're surrounded by trees and um, this winter was, I'll just tell you, it was pretty icy. It was pretty rough. I had a tiny baby and I was like, what are we doing out here? But then, here we are. Now it's summer. It's beautiful at home again. And next year I'm just gonna go to a hot place in the winter time, because now I get it. You just have to leave your house and maybe go to California, I could go visit you. Maybe we could go for coffee. She's got a room for me. Uh, she's just confirmed my invite. And I would love to see you. And I would love to see any of you guys also. I know where you live already. Um, I could maybe come stay with you guys for a bit. Yeah? I have a tent. I could tent in the yard. Anywhere that's hot or nice. I usually love the snow. I think it'll be better, I think this year, but I, I, yeah, I won't be there the whole time. I think it was just the first time that I was, I was ever home like for like a couple of months in a row. And I, you know, I need to wear the shoes that have the grips on the bottom so you're like, can walk. Like nature shoes. Na yeah, like nature shoes, but with, <laughs> that are with, for ice. Anyway, guys, um, this, this song thematically takes place in the beautiful summer when the lake by my house is like you're swimming in silk and that is my favorite thing to do and um it was my birthday a couple days ago and on my birthday i was skinny dipping and there was this uh the, i see eagles a lot by my house and this day on my birthday i saw two eagles and they were like swimming circling around doing a birthday dance it's very special or maybe they're gonna try to, to catch me, or I don't know, do something. Um, so this is called Favorite Daughter, and it takes place when the, the weather is gorgeous and the moon is out, maybe. Um, did you guys see the moon last night, by the way? It was so amazing. Summer's come, and the rain 
forest falls below Spring morn is shining Where we learn to swim and go Wanna see your eyes look in my eyes. The lady slippers we used to get around. I'm still. of this ground. Wanna see your eyes look in the mind Calling my name, my favorite daughter Calling my name and we, we look the same Calling my name, my favorite Summer's coming and the tree line is tumbling down. I'm still with you in the garden, we hear the sound. Want to feel alive Want to climb to we can anymore Want to see your eyes looking at my
Well, Leslie. So even though my grandmother said that that halo was going to hurt you, um, it, I was a re still a really rebellious teenager. I was bad, but the thing is, I was just really self-righteous about how bad I was. I thought that I was just right for doing, causing all the trouble that I caused, you know? And... Um, this is the story of my first love. Well, stars fell to the ground when they tore the hotel down. Where he and I, he and I, we used to go. Under a moon like electric snow a decade ago. And it was there I confess that we first had a bed to share with a view of the runway and the airport road. And we'd ride our bikes to the fence before the lights and watch the planes come low. Won't you say, won't you say you're all mine? We'll be together till they call us old timers. And we'll ride our bikes to the fence before the lights and take off on an airliner. Young with a fuel that could burn through any roof. Never mind, never mind what the other said. The man at the desk with the eyes of lead, bloodshot red. Winter came and it became less of game. And more of what couldn't be taught by teachers in school. And we found in love that the world was cruel and beautiful. Won't you say, won't you say you're all mine? We'll be together till they call us old timers. And we'll ride our bikes to the fence before the lights and take off on an airline. Won't you say, won't 
you say you're all mine We'll be together till they call us old timers And we will ride our bikes to the fence before the lights And take off on an airline Yeah, we will ride our bikes to the fence before the lights and take off on an airliner. Thank you. <laughs> Caitlin Cantry. The hardest thing about playing up here is I'm, we're in the audience for the majority of the show, and when it's your turn to sing, I go, oh, right, I gotta stop listening and start playing something. Um. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm attracted to the darker songs, the minor keys, the things that make me hurt. Um, but it's, it's hard to remember hard times when you're here. I mean, this is... So I thought I'd leave you with the, um, the brighter side. I, I wrote this song... Uh, actually, I, I wrote it mostly in an airport. I was um, delayed for a long time in Baltimore. And usually you're not very happy about that situation, but I um, luckily had my guitar and sat down, kind of tucked away by an escalator and got this one out. And... Um, I think, to me, this song feels like, you know if you haven't slept for a very long time and you finally get a good night's sleep and you wake up and you say, I had no idea how tired I was. I was a zombie for so long. This is, um, this song surprised me how, um, when I woke up so happy one time. Wow, that's what that is. <laughs> anyway, so if you're going through a hard time, this one's for you. The sun comes out. <laughs> In a motel with a bouquet in the ice pail, you can tell them I'm doing okay, doing real well. I got six strings in the morning and rain danced on the roof last night. Without warning, took his time crossing the sky. I could tell you about lonely roads and highways. I could warn you about the trouble and the time it takes for California. With a sweet refrain Yellow sun beat on the window The light cut straight through the blinds It was love that broke my sorrow Like a day breaks a night
can tell them I'm doing okay, doing real well. Thank you so much. I er simpelthen det bedste publikum i Danmark. Det er sådan, at I, at I råber møgen midt i sangen. Det er så fint. Men prøv at høre, Tønder Festival. Jeg ved jo godt, at I kan synge. Det har jeg hørt rigtig, rigtig mange gange. Desværre har jeg ikke noget, som, som, hvad skal man sige, som ligesom har det niveau, som I rammer. Jeg har ligesom bare noget, der ligger langt under. Så det, jeg vil bede jer om at synge med på, på den her sang, en sang, som jeg har skrevet øh, om, øh, om en person, som jeg, som jeg for lang, lang, lang tid siden øh, gik og ventede på i to år, øh, før han besluttede sig for, at han alligevel ikke ville have mig. Men øh, ja, sådan er det. Men øh, det her, det, <laughs> det er en sang, som er, det er, meget, meget, det er meget, meget nemt at synge med. Det er sådan lidt fodboldagtigt på en måde. Det kommer til allersidst i sangen, det skal I huske. You can sing along. In the end of the song, it's very easy. It's too easy for you. Very, very easy. It sounds like this. Oh, 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 oh. It's like a football game or something like that. Oh, 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 oh. It's. It looks good already. Pull it again. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, but who's the? As a first to sixth, you might come for too late. Du strejfer mig igen Flytter kort vejen ind Ja, det er grundlæggende siden jeg har set dig her Ja, jeg ved det godt Jeg ligger som jeg er ren Jeg kunne glemme dig lige så let som ingenting I dine øjne er jeg den, jeg helst vil være På dine læber er jeg fuldt ud formuleret Hvis det ikke var for det under, du er Kunne jeg glemme dig lige så let som ingenting Strejfer du omkring Imellem mine ting Ja, det er som om du faktisk er der Som du var Men du må ikke tro Nej, du må ikke tro At jeg vil glemme dig Lige så let Lige så let Som ingenting har I lyst til at synge med nu? Shit, the 
jeg ved godt. Tak. How are we doing out there, folks? Are we all right? Oh, brilliant. How about the ones that keep talking? Are they all right? Excellent. Just checking. I'd just like to let you in on a little what's actually going on between me and Irish. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> there's lots of wasps flying around the stage and she's terribly allergic to them and she's got an EpiPen and she told me just before we started if I keel over you gotta stab me right and I was like where and she said well on the leg preferably and I was like do I need to take off your trousers or is it through the trousers so and just like it's in my head all the time like Every time I see a wasp, I'm like, is it now? <laughs> um, <okay. laughs> um, I'm going to sing it. This is a song I wrote. Um, it's about uh, saying goodbye to somebody, whether you've had your heart broken or someone has left this world. And uh, it's called The Last Star. And um, it's that feeling that some people never really leave you, that they stay with you forever. So. <clears throat> you gave me your hand to give you my heart. You took it and told you'd love me forever. I should have known that no one's so safe I understand now you haunt me forever and all through the night I still hope for you to come back and find my me Thank 
There's magic happening here. And I'm fangirling about everybody on stage. Yeah. Just checking. <laughs> I'm not going to intro this song. Or maybe did I just do? No. Jesus just the other day He was wearing funky sandals And a little goatee Dreads that he had just Dying black All in all he was looking Pretty slick I said Jesus, Jesus Won't you save my soul Jesus, Jesus I don't want to grow Talking to you, yeah. Talking to you, talking to you, yeah. I said, Jesus, Jesus, won't you save my soul? Jesus, Jesus, I don't want to grow. Drinking woman, that much is true. And yes, I am partial to a woman or two. That don't mean I deserve to burn, cause if my friends will go to heaven, I deserve my turn. I deserve my turn. I deserve my turn. Where you going, Jesus? I ain't done talking to you. I said, Jesus, Jesus, won't you save my soul? Jesus, Jesus, I don't want to grow up. Ain't as bad as you think I am. Come on, Jesus. I said, Jesus. But can I get an amen? Or can I get an amen? Or can I get an amen? Jesus be a reasonable, I said, Jesus be a reasonable woman, a reasonable woman, a reasonable woman. Come on, children, take me home. so much.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're lovely people. Here comes Jen Grant, everybody. Oh my God. Attack. Oh my God, it's amazing, it's therapeutic. Wow, cool. <laughs> this is a song called Mauve. Um, it's so incredible to play, you know, and to be able to be on stage with these guys, and um, I'm just really honored to be part of this pack, and I think we should take it on the road. Yeah. <laughs> this is called Mo. All these roads carrying a hole and back to Sky and our family, it's gonna grow just like the lilac tree, and heartache when it goes, let it go. Heartache, let it go, let it go. You're meant to be free. But I hear it 
Ariana Grande, Thank everybody. You. Leslie Stevens, everybody. That was gorgeous, Jen. I was gonna play a blasphemous one. Any any fans of blasphemy? This song is a joke. And uh, I love to write joke songs because most of the time I'm crying my eyes out. And so uh, I, I have one song about like chickens and roosters um, doing their thing. And I have this other song that I'm going to play for you now that's called, um, it's called Everybody Drinks and Drives in Heaven. And, um, as, yeah, as Irish already mentioned, heaven is a screwed up dysfunctional place. It's, I feel like right at home playing this, even though this is kind of a church of song, you know? right now with all these, this international consulate of <laughs> song, songstresses. Songwriters. Um, anyway, in, in California, we call this style of trading songs Texas, Texas style. I don't know, it's just us, I guess. But. In the round, okay, our Texas, yeah, Texas songwriters in the round. Um, all right, I had to play this for a preacher once, <laughs> but he bought a couple CDs. <laughs> so I felt like I, was, I had his blessing. Anyway, this is it. Um. Everybody drinks and drives in heaven. Yeah, they don't care if you drink and drive in heaven. Mother Mary, Jesus too, Washington and Martin Lou. Everybody drinks and drives in heaven. Most other laws apply up in heaven. But you can drink and drive up in heaven. Most other laws, but not this one. You'll have to agree that it's kind of fun if you get a chance to drink and drive in heaven. Oh, and when it rains, it rains champagne in heaven. And Jack and Coke's made with cocaine in heaven. When you crash your car and meet your death again, all the wet angels have whiskey breath. And when they take you up to drink and drive in heaven. Hey. They don't have no hangovers in heaven. No headaches and no hangovers in heaven. Get hammered and go to bed. Wake up feeling like a saint instead. Take a shot and go to work in heaven. Yes, it's true, you have to work in heaven. Yes, you're drunk, but you'll be working up in heaven. Cause someone's got to build the roads and someone's got to man the toes. Mother Mary, Jesus too, Washington and Martin Lou, drinking and driving and working up in heaven. And they don't have no state lines. Oh, wait, they don't have no DUIs in heaven. They don't have no state lines up in heaven. No condoms, no birth control, cause everybody's dead, you know. <laughs> Driving like a bat out of hell up in heaven. Oh yes, everybody gets fucked up. And everybody gets a sippy cup. And always runneth over up in heaven. I told you it was blasphemous. It's the only safe place to drink and drive once you're already dead. Hear that, hear that. That was amazing. <laughs> I love it. I want to cover that song.
covering it. So folks, we've, had, we've, we've just had a magical time. Mostly, I'm very grateful that I didn't die on stage. Um, me too. <laughs> I've, uh, I've put years on poor Heidi, sorry love. Um, yeah, we're going, to, uh, uh, we're, we're going to, we have a little bit of a surprise for you. <laughs> da -da -da -da. No, 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 no. Nobody wants to see that, really. Nobody. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try our best to do this for you. We just worked this out, ooh, about 10 seconds before we got on stage. So it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh. I didn't get your name. I'm so sorry, I didn't get your name. What's your name? Silas. 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 <laughs> Silas. Wow. You okay. and Harry Potter. <laughs> Silas, thank you. You've saved me a great deal there. Oh and uh, you're a Look legend. Like and he fixed my pickup, which fell like out Prince of the Harry. guitar as well. So basically, I just shouldn't have nice things, uh, <laughs> is what's happening there. Thank you very much, Silas. You're a legend. You're a legend. With red hair. Love it. A record. <laughs> It's a record. Two strings broken at a songwriter's in the round. It's, it's a record. Yeah. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty cool. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved.